How you at? Oh, that's cool. Damn! Damn! Put your glasses back on. Welcome back to King's Productions Late Night Talk Radio. Here on episode two, we will cover the 1995 Los Angeles crime drama, Heat. Now Heat is a Riverton crime drama directed by Michael Mann that explores the complexities of obsession and addiction through its richly drawn characters. Starring Robert De Niro as the professional thief, Neil McCauley, and Al Pacino as driven detective Vincent Hanna, the film masterfully portrays a game of cat and mouse set against the backdrop of Los Angeles. The narrative delves into the destructive obsessions, personal struggles, and the blurred boundaries separating their professional and private lives. Heat provides a unique take on the classic cops and robbers trope, serving as a compelling exploration of the gray areas existing within each character beyond the simplistic binary of good and evil. Outside of this film, some of man's most notable films and TV shows you might be familiar with are hit series Miami Vice that ran from 1984 to 1990 and critically acclaimed horror mystery Manhunter. His film Heat started off as a failed TV pilot for NBC. Michael Mann got the idea of Heat from a real life cop in Chicago, Chuck Adamson, who was in pursuit of the then professional thief, Neil McCauley. The story gets weird. One night, Adamson bumped into Neil on the street. The way Adamson told the story, you didn't know whether to arrest him or kick it with him to get a cup of coffee at a local diner. The outcome of these two foes resulted in Adamson shooting McCauley dead during a botched robbery. The man takes these real life encounters and creates this hit feature film. In an interview, Mann describes his film as a romanticized expansion of the story. Mann states, it's a plot driven by a crime story and a police story to a certain point, and then it breaks into a kind of chorus. In that chorus, we see slices of these different people's lives. That's when Mann pivoted the direction of the production towards a feature film with a star-studded ensemble cast. Before we enter the world of Heat, these video essays are presented to you by KI Productions NGS. This is a video production and digital marketing company owned by Dejan King. You can reach me by email at king.dejan0 at gmail.com. Let's do some work. In this movie directed by Michael Mann, this expanded cast includes Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, starring in their very first film side by side. Other members of this cast include Val Kilmer, a young Natalie Portman, Dennis Haysberts, many of you may know him as the Allstate commercial actor. But before those insurance commercials, he garnered sympathy through his impressive performance as Donald Breed. The rest of the cast rounds out with Danny Trejo, John Voight, Ashley Judd. There's just so many actors and actresses that play a pivotal role in this criminal drama epic. When we peel back the curtains and zero in on an individual character in this film, we realize their goals, their life dilemmas, their addictions, their struggles with their mental state. Because every character in this film's ego is so big, it overshadows one another and creates a bigger conflict than just crime fighting and going after scores. What you realize is that even the subplot in this film is so intriguing. Each character could be the star of their own film. As in certain films, these side characters were just given filler lines. But in this film, each of these characters are given strategic screen time to express themselves and their deeper tensions with reality. This film can be overwhelming at times, but I will help you simplify it down and break through the intricate storyline. Where do we begin? There are two sides of this coin. The LAPD detectives versus the criminals. With many film tropes embedded into this film, a huge trope that drives this story and shapes our characters' archetypes is their personal struggles with addictions. Some suffer from drug abuse, others from obsessions with their occupational endeavors, whether it be ethically permissible or pass as a criminal profession. Each character's addiction is so detrimental to their mental state and derails their lives. To make things easy, we will start on the detective side led by Al Pacino. 
Vincent Hanna is a workaholic lieutenant who stays up 24 seven chasing criminals through the night and day, steadily using cocaine to keep him up and attentive. It's never implied in this film, but you get the gist once you pay attention to his addictive mindset. That is one thing that stands a testament in this film. It's the addictions of these characters. They crave something so far beneath them that it tears their personal lives apart. For Vincent, his biggest vice is his dedication to his line of work, which mirrors Macaulay's. Despite his commitment to his law enforcement, Hannah's addiction to his job has devastating personal consequences, leading to the disintegration of his marriage and strained relationship with his stepdaughter. Justine Hannah, played by Diana Venera, is his third wife. She is a compelling depiction of a woman struggling in the shadows of her husband's obsession with his job. Justine becomes increasingly isolated and neglected as Vincent immerses himself deeper into the pursuit of Macaulay and the crew. His neglect leads to her to engage into self-destructive behavior, including an affair with another man, representing a desperate cry for attention and a symptom of her deprivation. The emotional scene where Justine confronts Vincent about his neglect is particularly poignant. She articulates the pain and the frustration of living with a man who is, in her own words, never there. Justine's character underscores the collateral damage of obsession and addiction, illustrating how Vincent's law addiction impacts not only his life, but also the lives of those close to him. This segues us directly to Natalie Portman's character, Lauren Gustagason. She presents a compelling side narrative of a teen grappling with severe depression and abandonment issues. Subtle nuances in her portrayal underscores the impact of parental neglect, a prevalent issue in her life. Her father, who exists on the periphery of her life, represents an incessant absence that deeply affects Lauren. The sporadic and inconsistent presence of her father in her life exasperates her feelings of neglect and abandonment, fueling her depressive state. Lauren's despair is depicted in heart-wrenching detail in a scene where she attempts self-harm, a devastating testament to the depth of her depression. Her character provides a poignant exploration of how a child's psychological well-being can be drastically affected by the absence of a stable parental figure. It also shows how such emotional neglect can lead to severe depression and self-destructive behavior. Her struggles mirror the broader themes of the film, reflecting the destructive nature of obsession and addiction in her stepfather's life. His pursuit of the criminal's activities akin to an addiction has severe consequences not only for him, but also indirectly for Lauren, who was left to navigate her emotional turmoil alone. On the other side of the coin are the criminals. Their lives are much more complex than the cop's side, which only focuses on Vincent Hanna's character and life struggles. The leader of this gang is Neil McCauley, portrayed by Robert De Niro. He is a meticulous and disciplined professional thief who lives by a code. Don't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. His obsession with the perfect heist is a form of addiction, a thrill he can't do without. He grapples with the internal conflict torn between his growing affection for Edie and his commitment to his criminal lifestyle. Edie, a graphic designer played by Amy Brenneman, represents a life that could be his, a life of innocence and tranquility. Yet, Macaulay's addiction to the thrill of heist and his unwavering professional code prevent him from fully embracing a future with Edie. This struggle adds another layer of complexity to heat, highlighting the painful sacrifices made in pursuit of justice and exploring the human condition through the lens of Neil's relationship. There's a poignant irony that Macaulay finds himself captivated by Edie's innocence and simplicity yet he's reluctant to give up his lifestyle, even for the promise of love and normalcy. This internal struggle becomes particularly pronounced as Macaulay plans his next heist. The tension between Macaulay's growing intimacy with Edie and his dedication to his crime-ridden lifestyle adds another layer of complexity to the narrative of heat. It further emphasizes the film's exploration of destructive consequences of obsession and the harsh reality of lost opportunities in the pursuit of personal desires. The final heist scene, arguably one of the most heart-stopping sequences in film history, underscores Macaulay's relentless pursuit of perfection and control. Despite the escalating risk and mounting pressure from Vincent Hanna, his law enforcement counterpart, Macaulay insists on proceeding with the bank robbery, showcasing his destructive obsession. Another character who struggles with his own relationship is Val Kilmer's Chris Shireless. 
He's Neil's right hand man in their crew. He grapples with a struggling addiction that has torn his marriage apart with his wife Charlene. The poignant dialogue between Chris and Charlene underscores the toll of addiction and the strain it puts on the relationship. In the absence of Chris, Charlene turns to another man for attention and connections, which further indicates the disconnection between the two lovers and the visible signs of abandonment from Chris and his marriage. Tom Sizemore's character, Michael Charito, is another member of McCauley's crew. Charito's character is defined by his obsession with the next score, a fixation that overshadows all aspects of his life, including his family. This obsession is another addiction of his own driving him to continuously seek out the adrenaline rush of the next job. Despite the potential risk to his life and family, Charito's decision to join Macaulay in the final bank heist, despite knowing the elevated risk, exemplifies his compulsion. It's a choice that ultimately leads to his downfall. This turning point underscores the destructive nature of his obsession, showing how it blinds him to the potential consequences, leading him down a path of no return. The Heat characters each grapple with their obsessions and addictions in unique ways. Yet, in all cases, these fixations prove to be their downfall. Charito's character serves as a saddening example of how an addiction to the thrill of the next score can consume one's life, driving them to take the risk that lead to the devastating outcomes. Donald Breeden, played by actor Dennis Haysburg, is an ex-con trying to reintegrate to society after serving time in prison. His character shines a light on the challenges faced by ex-convicts in the pursuit of redemption and societal acceptance. Despite his sincere efforts to lead an honest life, Breeden finds himself caught in a vicious cycle of societal prejudice and economic hardship, unable to secure a decent job due to his criminal record, constantly belittled by his employer at a low-paying diner job. Breeden's desperation grows. This subplot is essential as it depicts the systemic issues faced by reformed convicts, emphasizing the societal structures that often push them back into a life of crime. Breeden's character is an embodiment of these societal failures. His involvement in Macaulay's crew final heist is a desperate attempt to escape his circumstances further illustrating how hard it is for ex-convicts to break the cycle of crime when the system is stacked against them. Donald Breeden's storyline adds depth to the narrative of Heat, drawing attention to the hidden struggles of ex-convicts and their attempts at redemption. This subplot subtly highlights the societal changes needed to better support these individuals, making it a critical part of the overall narrative. Danny Trejo's character Trejo often goes underappreciated in the narrative of Heat, yet his role is integral to the overall plot. His character represents the inevitable cost of the criminal lifestyle that the other characters are so deeply engrossed in. Known for his loyalty to Macaulay's crew, Trejo's involvement in the heist gives him a sense of purpose and belonging despite the incredible risk involved. However, his unfortunate end serves as a stark reminder of the deadly consequences that come with such a lifestyle. When things go awry, Trejo becomes a tragic symbol of sacrifice, paying the ultimate price for his involvement in the crime underworld. His character underscores the reality that, in the world of crime, loyalty and dedication might not be enough to escape the destructive outcomes. Trejo's fate serves as a catalyst for the climax of the movie pushing Macaulay's crew to their limits and forcing them to confront the harsh consequences of their actions. The next character is rather controversial. Kevin Gage's portrayal of Wayne Grove introduces a character whose destructive nature contrasts starkly with the disciplined approach of Macaulay's crew. Wayne Grove's recklessness, sadism are uncontrolled, setting him apart from the rest of the characters and adding an unpredictable element to the plot. His impulsiveness is a self-destructive addiction, with his inability to control his violent urges causing his eventual downfall. During the armed car heist scene early in the movie, Wayne Grove's unnecessary killing of a guard triggers a chain of events that complicate the lives of every character, especially Macaulay's crew. This act of violence not only alerts the police to their activities, but also creates the moral rift within the crew that sets the tone for the rest of the movie. 
Wayne Grove's character is a study of the destructive nature of impulsiveness, showing how a lack of discipline and control can lead to chaos and destruction. His wild unpredictability and lack of remorse make him an embodiment of uncontrolled addiction in a film that deals heavily with the theme of obsession and its consequences. The deliberate pace of heat is another element of Michael Mann's craft that deserves attention. Rather than rushing from one action-packed scene to the next, the film takes its time to explore its characters, their motivations, their intricate relationships. This slower pace allows the audience to fully engage with the complex narratives and themes unfolding on the screen. Scenes that might have been glossed over in a fast-paced thriller serve as a critical moment of characters' developments and heat. For example, the quiet moments shared between Neil McCauley and Edie offer profound insights to Macaulay's internal conflict, giving the audience a deeper understanding of his character. The unhurried pace of the film enhances its dramatic tension and deepens its exploration of the human condition, resulting in a cinematic experience that is as thought-provoking as it is thrilling. The stigma associated with the roles of cops and robbers is portrayed in an intriguing manner in Heat. Instead of conforming to the conventional stereotypes, the film presents a nuanced perspective on the characters of both law enforcement officers and criminals. The police led by Lieutenant Vincent Hanna are not merely the virtuous defenders of law. They are depicted as flawed individuals with personal problems. Hanna's obsession with his job strains his marriage and mirrors the destructive obsession exhibited by the criminals he pursues. On the other hand, the robbers aren't portrayed as heartless villains, but as complex individuals with their own struggles. Neil McCauley is a professional criminal, yet his code of ethics and longing for a normal life render his character relatable. This blurring of the traditional good and bad rules challenges the typical cops and robbers stigma, presenting a more humanized and realistic portrayal of both sides. Furthermore, the film highlights the thin line between law and crime with both sides resorting to similar tactics in their pursuit of success. This subversion of societal expectations adds depth to the overall narrative, making heat a thought-provoking exploration of morality and human nature. In this incredible world of heat, director Michael Mann masterfully weaves the numerous subplots of heat into a cohesive narrative through his expert use of cinematography, dialogue, and character development. Each subplot, while individually impactful, contributes to the overall message of the film, painting a comprehensive picture of the destructive effects of obsession and the struggle for redemption. Mann's knack for storytelling is evident in this careful pacing of the film. Each subplot gradually unfolds, intertwined with the progression of the main narrative. This delicate balance ensures that every subplot, no matter how seemingly insignificant, adds depth to the overarching storyline without overwhelming the viewer. The director also makes clever use of dialogue to connect desperate plot threads. By having characters reference events or individuals from their different plots, Man creates a sense of unity among the film's many narratives. These subtle nods allow the viewer to understand the interconnectedness of the characters' lives and actions within the broader narrative. Finally, through the character development, Mann manages to thread these subplots into the fabric of the film. Each character's journey, whether it be Lauren's struggle with depression or Breedy's pursuit of redemption, is intimately related to the movie's central themes, highlighting the individual's and collective cost of obsession and crime. To conclude, Michael Mann's heat is a testament to the director's ability to craft a complex narrative with a multitude of subplots. His skillful use of filmic techniques allows him to weave the individual stories into a larger tapestry, ultimately creating a rich, multifaceted film that explores the human conditions in its myriad forms. Heat remains a timeless classic in the world of cinema. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of the movie Heat. This is King's Productions. We're out.